This is lesson number two for Varicad training course. It is called Varicad files and directories. The software Varicad uses some default native files. And the most basic one is the DWB format that we can see if we try to open or to save some information. I will draw a simple rectangle on the 2D side of the software and now I will come to the file menu save as to allow me to give a name and choose a format and under type I can see by default the DWB which is the native format for the system as in all other software programs if we open this we can see all the different types where we can save the information we have, either 2D or 3D. For now, I will leave it. So the DWB is the native format, and we have another format that Varicad uses, which is the SIM used to have symbology information inside. On the, the same menu, File, I can come here, the Symbols, and I have by default a, a file called p1 extension sim test which has this symbol can have more but it has only this symbol inside and I can use this to insert it on my drawing but basically this is used to save this kind of symbology there is another format that we will see a little up front in this training course and is used to save the information regarding list of materials, attributes and title blocks. We will see it a little up front. The other important information still regarding files is about the conversion of objects either in 2D or 3D. There are several file types available inside the program. As you can see on the, under the save as and returning to this box we can save under these formats DWG which is the native format of AutoCAD. We can have direct in, uh, uh, interchange of information between Varicad and AutoCAD reading or writing. We have the DXF format which is very commonly used to save and to open information between programs under 2D. Now we have the step 3D with or without sections. At this moment the step format is the most widely used or, uh, under the CAD industry, the CAD softwares. These options file with sections that we will see in this, in this lesson. It's mainly used for programs that can open this graphically and to produce images, rendering images. We have the same options also for the IGES format but the IGES format is at this moment uh, an old option and not as reliable as the STEP format. Besides these two last ones we have the STL which is used to pass information mainly for companies working with prototype parts not only but uh, mainly with prototype and stereo lithography there are softwares on the market for cam that use this kind of format also let's make a little test to see uh, about these options uh, and to make this little test uh, i will i will show another function that Varicat has which is the batch conversion and I will come again to file menu I will use batch file conversion option 
and I will choose which type of conversion I want to make and in this particular case I will do the Varicad to step format okay uh, this is to say where to save the converted files and I will choose all of them and say convert and the program will do everything at once I can see the final result I will use another software in this case only for the purpose of showing that the work is done now we'll, I will do an import here and I will see the four files sample 1 to sample 4 converted I will open one of them in this case the sample 4 which is the biggest one and I will show it here okay basically also to show that this was the file we use I will open the sample 4 inside Varica which is the exact same part as you can see coming again to Varicad uh, I would like to show you also some options that you have under these tools and system settings there are a lot of configurations to make inside but basically there, there are a couple of ones important regarding co converting of files some of them are the step input and the step output there are not much options here but as you can see for example on the step output you can have a different description of the entities analytical or nerves and the protocol a little older the 203 and the 214 it depends from system to system and we must test there is no guarantee of perfect results in neither of the options regarding the stereo lithography files there are a little more options about the quality of the triangulation the precision and the, the units where we uh, write the files the same here is a little more uh, precise and we can have a little uh, better idea of what is needed to to have a good result there are also options for the DWG DHF input and output especially regarding this issue of the file version of the DWG it, it is quite important because it will have uh, very different results uh, on the, under the, the options we choose to work with. Uh, we can speak a little about the STL format, which I think it is important to show you some, some of the things we, we can work. Uh, and for that purpose, I will open one of these files, in this case, the sample one, which is a very simple part. And again, I will but to use this part I can do an export also with sections and uh, I will show you to make a 3D section so I will cut this part into halves and for that I will create a box with 200 millimeters each side its position under the center of that hole for me it's okay so it, it intersects the part now I will come to the tools menu 3d section management so I will use solids in section uh, something is removed so okay so turn it on
and the section is shown here and I can save this the option I show you step file 3d with sections I will put a different name test save okay and I will use again the auxiliary software to make import of this test file and in this particular case with a section done uh, the last thing to show you I will turn, turn it off the section and the last thing I would like to show you is about the, f the default files of the, the directory default files for Varicad. Um, there are some default directories and you can, you can see it here under the tools menu list of system directories where the program is putting information the configuration under the cfg the backup and temporary files under backup and the working directory under this path for sure you can change whatever you want when you work or when you say to save or open files but this is where the things are going for default this ends lesson two of varicat